Hello. Today we're going to be taking a look at Google Classroom and how to access posts and assignments in Google Classroom. So the first thing uh, you will do is to ensure that your student is signed in with his or her domain name. Uh, that's the at allsaintsva.org domain name up here in the corner. Students will then go to classroom.google.com or they can access it by going to this three by three array up here and clicking on the Google Classroom button. Once they do that, well, they will be signed into Google Classroom and can access each of their classes here and they can log in by clicking. Students, when clicking on their classroom, will, will see any assignments and announcements that teachers have posted on the home page right here. Right on this home page in the stream, they will see any upcoming assignments that are going to be due and also any access to uh, general reading assignments that teachers have posted. These would be things like uh, Google Docs or PDFs or links that the teacher would like for students to read. So in order to access any assignment, a student can click right on that button of the assignment. Right here, you will see what the assignment is and any directions given to the child, and they can access the assignment clicking on the right-hand side. So for example, this assignment asks students to write sentences using their words. So we're going to alter this assignment, click right in, and when students are done, they are going to exit the program by clicking the X button. Now, what's different about Google Docs as compared to uh, Microsoft products is this assignment in Google Classroom is automatically saved. And you can see it's saved by the student name, the assignment, and the date on which it is due. So students can exit out and then turn in the product by hitting the turn in button right here. Once a teacher has, tur has turned in an ax or I'm sorry, once a teacher has accessed the Google Docs or assignment that has been turned in, uh, they can comment back. So for example, the teacher posted that uh, the first sentences were excellent, but that all 12 need to be uh, completed before submitting an assignment and the student commented back uh, as a thank you. So you can see that student has turned in the work here, and if they need to go back, they can simply go back and request editing access to that, and the teacher can, can grant that access. Once a student is completely done, they'll go back to the home page and see any other work. As you can see, the upcoming work has been altered and that no work is now due you can see a running list of all of your to-do assignments by going here to the to-do list. When there is work to be done, all work will be listed here. Once you click the complete button, you can see what work has been turned in um, and it is arranged by due date. And that is how you access and complete assignments to turn in in Google Classroom.